What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you know, then you know. The hair is in the middle. We're doing a comparison video. A battle of the brands, if you will. Featuring two of my, two, not four, two of my favorite brands comparing a product that is brand new to a product that has been tried and true. So if you are new here, hi, I am your main girl Mel. I'm happy to have you here because I'm here to help guide you through your healthy hair journey. Now if you haven't already heard, Curlsmith, a brand that I use all the time, finally released a strength recipe line that contains protein. Finally, it's about time you showed up. Now of the new strength recipe range, there is one product in particular that caught my eye. Why? Because it claims to do similar things to the infamous Olaplex number three. But could that be? Well, that's what we'll be comparing in today's video. We're gonna talk about the similarities between these two products, the differences, and ultimately compare how they will both repair your hair. I put these products to the test on actually damaged hair. Is that even legal? Stay tuned to find out. And without further ado, let's get to it. Now, full disclaimer before we get into this video, I am a very close partner with Curlsmith. I have been testing this product for about a month and a half, but I am also very much in love with Olaplex, and I have been using their products on myself and in salon for years. So I am coming at you with this video in partnership with Curlsmith to introduce the Bond Curl to you, but also to explain to you how both of them work. So in order to help you understand how bonding products work in the hair, we first need to explain what bonds even are. We're gonna keep this really short, but we're gonna have to get a little science hippie. Hi, science hippie Melly here to get nitty gritty about hair structurally. I believe it's important to understand how the hair is made up so you can understand how it breaks down. There are three major components that make up the structure of the hair. There is the cute tickle, cuticle. Then there is the cortex. This is where most of the meat of the hair is. And on the inside, there's the medulla, basically irrelevant, not even everyone has one. For the most part, the hair is made up of the cortex, which is a fibrous protein core that is composed of a bunch of different cells, including our hair's melanin, our hair's color, and it is all held together by three side bonds of the hair. Side bonds of the hair link together the polypeptide chains, which themselves are long chains of amino acids, which make up the proteins in our hair. The side bonds that hold these polypeptide chains together are responsible for the strength and the elasticity of the hair strand. As I mentioned, there are three of them. The first is the hydrogen bonds. These are weak bonds. They are broken by heat and water and they reform when the hair dries and cools. Although these bonds are very weak and easily broken, they do account for about one third of the hair's strength. Now another weak physical cross-link side bond of the hair is the salt bond. Salt bonds also make up for about one third of the hair strength and are broken by a huge change in pH. So either high alkalinity products or low acidity products can break the salt bonds of the hair. Then lastly, we have the strong bonds. These are the disulfide bonds. Disulfide bonds, when intact, help to join together polypeptide chains of the hair. There are not many disulfide bonds in the hair, but they are the strongest and therefore account for the other third of the hair's strength. And although they are not easily broken by water or heat, they can be broken by boiling water, excessive heat, and also chemical treatments like perms, relaxers, bleach, color, and can even be damaged by the sun's UV rays and mechanical damage by rough styling and brushing. Without the disulfide bonds, the hair will crumble. Now you know what keeps the hair intact and what can break that. I hope that helped. Signed to email. Out. Thanks for that, Mel. Now let's get into how these products are supposed to work, and this is coming from the manufacturer. Let's first talk about the original bonding product, Olaplex, and get into how this works for the hair. Olaplex claims to actually build the bonds of the hair by multiplying the bonds and therefore strengthening the hair. And I quote, I'm reading from my notes. It is pH balance of 3.5 to 5, and it restores damaged and compromised hair by repairing from the inside out with their patented single ingredient, bisaminopropyl diglycol dimaliate. That's scientific. But this single molecule dramatically improves hair strength, protects from within, and provides immediate results for all hair types via a combination of ionic and covalent bonding. 
Now on the other hand, introducing the Bond Curl Rehab Salve from Curlsmith, this helps to target hair bonds to relink and repair damage. It strengthens the hair, makes hair super soft and manageable, protects against hair breakage, enhances curl pattern. It does a lot of things with not one, but three active ingredients to target all three bonds of the hair cortex. Three of them, that's more active than me. So naturally when I heard this, I reached out to Curlsmith and was like, how does this work? What are these ingredients? I need to know. And unfortunately, I don't have the names of the active ingredients because that is part of their secret formula. I'll respect that. But they did share with me how they work. The active for the hydrogen bonds is a unique technology that works by creating additional hydrogen and ionic bonds within the hair keratin structure. It penetrates deep into the hair fibers to the cortex and restores hair fiber strength back to levels of virgin hair. Oh, what I would do to go back to virgin hair. If you don't color your hair and you've never really done anything, your fiber strength has gotta be strong. And if they're not because you've damaged your hair, this is supposed to have an active to help repair the hydrogen bonds. Then there is an active for electrostatic bonds and this active contains creatine, which is an amino acid derivative. Remember, our hair is keratin made up of amino acids with a low molecular weight which should enable it to penetrate into the hair cortex. This will result in a decrease of fiber breakage and will improve the mechanical properties of the hair. And finally, there is the active for the disulfide bonds. This active is derived from chia seeds. Chia seeds are very rich in protein, which can help to strengthen the hair. This ingredient creates a biofilm on the hair. It is this biofilm and its semi-permeable membrane that provides benefits like moisture, pH balance, barrier protection, and additionally, protection from hair weakening after its exposure to chemical processes. And that's all a lot. That's all a lot. This hair is doing a lot. This, where are you going? Now, just to give you a quick side-by-side -side of the Curlsmith ingredients to the Olaplex ingredients, you can see the difference in ingredient lists. The Olaplex formula is the only bonding formula that you will see the bisaminopropyl diglycol dimaliate which again is working to repair the disulfide bonds. But with the Bondco product, there are three active ingredients working to repair all three bonds of the hair. Now I'm not gonna say that size always matters, but when you do look at the size of these two products, Olaplex, why are you so small? Olaplex is a 100 milliliter bottle or 3.3 fluid ounces for $28, and the Curlsmith Bond Curl Rehab Sal is 237 milliliters, or eight fluid ounces, for $29. So you have a $1 difference here, but you're getting more than twice the size in the Bond Curl. Olaplex is also silicone-free, oil-free, and nut-free, and the Bond Curl is silicone-free, but it does have sweet almond oil in the ingredients list. Both products are vegan and cruelty-free, Olaplex is widely known to be used on all hair types, and although Curlsmith is a curly hair brand, the Bond Curl can definitely be used on all hair types because it's not just curly hair that needs protein and repairing. Really, any hair type can use this, in my opinion. And as great as all that sounds, we need to see this stuff in action. What does this really look like on the hair? Hair is my hair. It is seven days since I last washed it, and it needs some love. Pretty dry, pretty brittle. Uh, low elasticity, if we will. She's dry. Both of these treatments are pre-shampoo treatments that are applied before washing on dampened hair. The hair does not have to be clean before applying these products, but if you have a lot of buildup, you may wanna give yourself a good rinse before going in. And as you can see on one side, I applied the Olaplex, and I applied this to my hair starting from my ends and working my way up, all while very lightly finger detangling to massage it into my strands. And of course, being very gentle because this treatment is being applied to hair that has been damaged that we do not want to further. I then applied the Curlsmith Bond Curl Rehab Salve and right off the bat, this smells divine. It is more fragrant than the Olaplex, but it's very sweet. To me, Curlsmith is never a miss with the scents. I also found the Bond Curl product to be a little bit slimier in texture. It felt a little bit gooier and it did provide more slip when applying it to my hair, which I really appreciated because with such tangly curly hair, it made the application process a little bit easier to distribute through my hair. Olaplex can be left on for a minimum of 10 minutes or longer, but after about 45 minutes, 
it kind of stops working there's not much else for it to do you can leave it in longer if you really want but it's not really doing much else bond curl on the other hand should be left in for a minimum of 15 minutes and it can be left on longer if desired but up to one hour just like olaplex it probably won't do much after that and i never recommend leaving the hair wet for long periods of time so no longer than an hour you want to go ahead and shampoo i only left it in for 15 minutes then I shampooed, conditioned, styled as per usual, and my results were fantastic. You couldn't tell the difference. And that's because, well, my hair is already pretty healthy. So I honestly was not the best candidate to show you these two products on my hair in a side by side. But I put these products to the test on actually damaged hair. My good old friend, Pat here, she was today's subject for science and she allowed us to use her hair and abuse her hair. If you take a look at her before hair, this is hair that has literally been neglected for longer than months, over two years probably. This hair has been bleached, color treated, it's been through the works and its elasticity was so low, it was breaking almost every strand that I tested. So just like my hair, I rinsed her down and I applied each product to both sides on her damp hair. I allowed the treatments to process and then I shampooed and conditioned. And when I was applying the conditioner, I made sure to only finger detangle and I rinsed the conditioner out with a squish to condition method that you can see here. And from here, I did not further manipulate the hair in any way, shape or form. I did not apply any further styling products. I did not brush the hair. I did not manipulate the curl in any way besides the squishing and scrunching in the sink because I really wanted to see how the natural curl pattern would take form after using these treatments. And once the hair was completely air dried, I did my elasticity test and the test determined that these results were both fabulous. Well, damn it. I was looking for a little bit more of a comparison, so I decided to pull out a few more weapons. On both sides, I flat ironed a section of hair, again, without any product, no heat protectant hair. And I went even further to add bleach on top of the straightened strand and let a mixture of lightener and 20 volume developer sit on her hair for one hour. After an hour, I rinsed the hair, shampooed and conditioned. I did not do any more bond curl or Olaplex treatments. I just let her air dry yet again. And honestly disappointed, disappointed that again her hair looks great on both sides. Not, not, I mean, I'm not disappointed in the products and quite impressed, but I'm a little disappointed that I didn't have more drastic results to show you. After testing all of the strands, both hairs felt amazing. So does that mean that the Curlsmith Bond Curl can compare to the infamous Olaplex? Well, let me give you my final thoughts reviews and recommendations. And just a reminder, all opinions here are my own. So first I'd like to mention what I really appreciate from Curlsmith's Bond Curl. One, I'm just so happy that they finally have a protein treatment because that's what this is. This is definitely a protein treatment. It helps to strengthen and repair the hair, but that's not the same as Olaplex. Olaplex treatments are not protein. Olaplex does not supply the hair with protein. It does not supply the hair with moisture. It is not a conditioning treatment. This specifically works to multiply the hair bonds. So although it does help to repair damaged hair, when you are using Olaplex, you still need to be using protein treatments and moisturizing treatments. Whereas the Bond Curl treatment does contain protein rich ingredients, and that in itself is very beneficial for the hair, which is made up of protein. But they can also help to repair and protect the cuticle because proteins are polymers. Now for damaged and porous hair, this will also help to retain your moisture levels. And I did notice after using this treatment, after shampooing it out of my hair, it felt soft and nourished. Even though it's not a conditioner, it still left my hair in a really nice conditioned feel. With Olaplex, I don't really get that feeling, although I know it's strengthening my hair. I've seen the amazing things that it does. Olaplex is not one of those repairs that you feel I know a lot of people say, I don't feel the difference in my hair. It's one of those things that it just happens. It's happening deep on a molecular level. After shampooing out of my hair, and maybe it's because it's just not really thick. It's a pretty light kind of consistency. But with the Bond Curl, you can actually feel and see that difference. And I definitely noticed the curl is nice and bouncy and repaired when using this treatment. That coating, that biofilm. So in my opinion, Olaplex is going to be best to repair breaking hair and prevent it from further breakage. 
If you really want to save this guy, which is in such a tiny little bottle, I would say save this treatment for maybe before doing an extreme hair color transformation or after doing an intense chemical treatment, but then swap it out for the Bond Curl. And the Bond Curl is going to help to protect the hair from further damage, also preventing further damage. If you're doing a protein treatment, follow up with some moisturizing products to make sure that you get that balance, the best of both worlds, and the most repair for your hair. And overall, as someone with high porosity hair that has been color treated and bleached and damaged, that is protein hungry. Again, I'm just really excited that this is a product that is protein strengthening and does work to target these different areas of the hair. I really don't know how that works. Again, I'm still trying to understand how all of the chemistry works. This product is very new. I'm excited to continue learning more about it and I will continue to keep using it because every time I've used it, my hair has been loving it. My sister's hair has been loving it. Even Pat's hair has freaking loved it. So if you decide to try this out, it is now officially launched. If you have been looking for a protein treatment, I absolutely recommend it. It is a great at-home treatment that you can use while also using your Olaplex. And while you are here, make sure you check out the other videos on this channel about hair porosity and protein moisture balance and healthy hair routines to help make sure that you are on the right track this new year. I hope you liked this video and that you found it helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe for more, and I'll see you each and every Texture Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. <laughs> Finally. Now, this has been a minute in the making. It's about time you showed up, huh? Huh? Where have you been? I'm sitting on a heat pad because I'm cold, but now my ass is on fire! Bam! Me! I'm excited. I love you both. Signed to email, out. Yeah! She's about to die! The camera and me, but the camera and me. It's been a long 48 hours. How's Pat doing? Let's go check on her before you die. Patri! Cause she's a pup over here. Ma'am? When are you gonna fix your hair? No, not you, Amanda. Amanda thinks I'm calling her. What, what are we gonna do with these now yellow strands? They're act they actually lifted quite beautifully, but against her purple, they look yellow. Oh, what color should we do for you? We may have to bring you back on. These curls are popping. I may have to do a haircut on you. It's a quarantine ting. <laughs> yeah.